Now, why have I come up to Leicester? I brought this because I want to see how it reacts with the most reactive non-metal in the entire periodic table, and that's the element fluorine. Okay. Now, this, we don't think this has ever been shown before, uh, so we're not entirely sure how it's going to go, so I've got to go and see. And uh, transporting, uh, transporting fluorine is a little bit tricky, is it? Certainly. It uh, reacts vigorously, as we will see with virtually any element in the periodic table. To show the extreme reactivity of fluorine, we're going to set fire to something. We all know how hard it is to start a barbecue using this stuff. This is charcoal, uh, trying to get it to burn with the oxygen from the air. It'd be easy, though, if the atmosphere contained fluorine. Ah. <laughs> OK, shall we see the reaction then? Let's have a go. Wow. This demonstrates the extreme reactivity of fluorine gas. This was a tiny quantity of fluorine being played onto the surface of the charcoal there. And as soon as the two came into contact, there was this very violent reaction, generated a lot of heat, as you saw the flames there. But charcoal isn't terribly reactive. Cesium is much more reactive. So I think we should try this reaction now then. This is my cesium. Have you seen cesium before? No. Not quite this, this quite a lot of it, isn't there? It's quite beautiful. Beautiful, yes. And so dangerous. <laughs> So this is a combination between the two most reactive elements in the periodic table. The pig. We've got fluorine, the most reactive non-metal, and cesium, the most reactive metal. That's flushing through again. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Right, are we nearly ready? I'll lower this. Yeah, I'll you also. look after your pipes. incredibly beautiful reaction there between cesium and fluorine, this intense light. And I don't think many people have seen that before. Mm. 